Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to look at the new charging curve of the new Hyundai Kona 2024 65 kilowatt hours. I charged the car at a hypercharger and I filmed the charging screen inside. Hyperchargers are not good for uh, filming a charging curve because they always switch the design. Ionity is the best for that. But on that day when I did that charging session and I recorded it, filmed it, uh, the corner that I had didn't want to charge at Ionity because I had plug and charge enabled. But I didn't, uh, in my account of Hyundai connecting with the car, I didn't have any payment in there or a Hyundai card or anything. It's just it's not amazing that you can still activate plug and charge. And I uh, used the card before I plugged it in, but it charged at uh, different uh, um, hyperchargers. And then I turned it off and the next day it charged at Ionity. So I'm pretty sure it was that, even though it doesn't make any sense. So like I said, I filmed inside the car, the new charging screen. You can see everything, the time on the left top, your range, the range that it will be at 100%, your state of charge, and of course the uh, power. And it starts with around 90 kilowatt and then goes up further and further and further. We're already at 94 kilowatt. That's way better than the old corner. Had a peak at uh, best 77 kilowatt as mostly it was 73 kilowatt or something but this will go off this new charging curve to 104 kilowatt and then we will have a dip and then another dip I only charged to 80 percent on that day i'm guessing that it will go on and then a few more dips uh, but we are at 100 kilowatt and at 104 is our peak and then i think at what is it 70 uh, I don't even know. We'll see in a second when the charging curve will dip down. Um, 103, 104 will be here. And there's the dip at 63% down to 79 kilowatt. And there will be another dip to 48 kilowatt at 69%. And there will be even another dip down to 40 kilowatt uh, in a second. Where is it? 75% there it is at 76% it even goes down to 40 kilowatt they only charge to 80% like I said but it's a better charging curve especially at 63% <laughs> up to that in the old corner we also had a, a thing that went up slowly and then we had a few dips um, but let's look at the charging curve and then compare it to other cars. So here we have the new charging curve. Like I said, it starts, I started at 7%, gets, uh, goes up, 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 up to the 62, 63% down and then 68, 69 down, 74 to 75 down, even here 38. And so I'm guessing it will go steadily down even more up there but let's compare to the old corner here we have the old corner in blue and the new corner in red the charging curve is not for me charging curve i found on the internet i had two corners one very short time and a, a facelift corner so the second version for two weeks but i never did a charging session which is weird i know that it didn't change the battery didn't change was just a facelift outside and a few things inside that the, the technology stayed the same and never bothered to to do a charging session with it which is sad but i know it goes up to around 77 kilowatt it starts at around 60 the peak is uh, at around 50 percent and then goes down in steps like i said to 60 kilowatt here and then even down to 23 kil really 23 kilowatt at 80 percent like i said there's a charging curve i found i hope it's true <laughs> it was on a very official site where they do other charging curves as well i hope it's uh, okay but as you see the new charging curve is always above except for this tiny little thing here um so the new corner charges better and uh, we've seen in my uh, uh, consumption tests uh, range tests don't get the 19 inch wheels because then the car is not very efficient if you get the 17 inch wheels way more efficient way better um, i don't know if it's exactly the same as the old corner as a new form everything is new new motor new technology battery bigger and everything 
So uh, we, I'm not sure and in, unless I will get a 17 inch Kona at some point and can uh, change, uh, um, test it to an old Kona, it would be amazing. Um, but the old corner was always very efficient and was a lot of fun. Charging was not that amazing and here we can see it's a bit better. But now we have here the charging curve to other cars. I have the old Kona here 2022, the new 24, I have a BMW iX1 here which has a very similar size battery 65 kilowatt hours. I have my ID3 with a 58 kilowatt hour battery and I have the Renault Megane which has a 60 kilowatt hour battery. I can't remember if this was usable or 60 kilowatt was the gross capacity. I'm not sure right now. But um, as you see, all corner in blue was is the lowest here and is mostly low here in the middle is pretty much all the same. Um, the, the, the new corner starts at the 89, 90 kilowatt where the others uh, most of them go to 130 kilowatt, but don't stay very long. Green is my ID3, goes down here. Um, the Megane well down even earlier, is at under 100 kilowatt, already at 27%. My ID3 does this at, where are we? 32% that the BMW iX1 stays to 42% at over 100 kilowatt. And then they all go pretty similarly down. The iX1 is a bit better than the other cars, whereas the Kona goes slowly up and has its peak at 62%. So it's a totally different charging curve. Um, so the, the, the area between 40 and 60%, Kona is the best, but underneath it's uh, slower. Uh, at around 30 to 40, it's pretty similar. And then above 60 they're all very similar so even even just the, the the low where 48 40 and 38 kilowatt here that's very very similar i mean it's it's a difference between 38 to 50 kilowatt that's that's not the big thing here that's 12 kilowatt that it charges differently but very interesting to see that um, we do the bmw ix1 in an extra video alone for charging um, but I want it in here because it has a very similar charging uh, a similar battery size but that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye